Welcome back to the Boneyard. My name is Daddy Bones, and in the last episode, you may have seen me give a tour of my bedroom twice. But really, it was you experiencing some deja vu. Welcome back to the Boneyard. My name is Daddy Bones, and in the last episode, you may have seen me give a tour of my bedroom twice. But really, it was you experiencing some Deja vu. Okay, I, I confess. You weren't having deja vu. It was all me. It was a late night editing session before I went to California, and I just want to make sure I got the video out on time, and I totally missed it. So you guys got a bedroom tour. Twice. But I'm really proud of that bedroom. Most of the time I just make things and they're functional and not very well decorated. So I'm actually pretty pleased with how that bedroom turned out for being decorated and all. So functional, yes. Decorating, not so much. Well, moving on from that, we've come across another small problem. You hear it? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Uh, real quick, my interior decorating. I've done the skylight. I like him. I like him a lot. But uh, a zombie made his way in and turned a couple of these guys, and this guy has a shovel. Well, I'm baffled by how they all weren't changed, and we need to fix that. So other than going to the nether, we need to build a brewing station. I think I have just a place for that. Let's go check it out now. Ta-da! What do you think about this space? I've been saying I want to make a sitting area or possibly another bedroom up here, but I think a brewing setup would look fantastic. And we'll use some of this copper as like a little backsplash against the cauldron. I think that would look good. Let's start building and see what happens. Well, I started noodling around and didn't really come up with anything I like. So I went ahead to creative and redesigned this whole area and created a light matica schematic for it. That's why you see all these strange colors all over the place. The first thing I really want to do is create an infinite water source for our brewing setup. And I picked up this trick from Impulse SV and his hardcore live stream, and it goes a little something like this. This is the backsplash for our sink. And really what it is, is just three stairs. And we're gonna create an infinite water source by building this up here. And we're going to create uh, you know, a little base for where those steps are going to go. So I need something to put them on. So these are just going to be temporary. And then we're going to go ahead and turn Light Matica off. There we go. And now we got to put our steps in. This is going to be complicated. Right. Um, well, OK. I think, dang it. Okay, all right, uh, how am I gonna do this here? I really need it to face the other way. Um, right here in this little corner. All right, okay, that works. And then there, there. So there's our backsplash. All right, so we basically need to put a water source here. And then of course the water source on the opposite side there. And they flow together and create an infinite water source. See all three of them are now together? So we'll pull from the center one, and we'll have our infinite water source. All right, let's go ahead and decorate this up with a sink. There we go. And uh, we need a faucet, of course. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, so now all we need to do is pull right from the middle. And there's our water source. There we are, our infinite water source. Why don't we just go ahead and finish off this build in a time lapse?
Here it is, nearly complete. And I say nearly because, you know, I could use some decorating around here, some shelves, maybe a cobweb. No, it's, cobweb could look interesting. A couple brewing stands, and we've got some barrels for storage, uh, both brewing potion materials and some post brewing materials. We know, because we're obviously going to need some blaze rod. And, uh, and then anything that we brew after, we can just kind of store in these barrels. That's the idea anyways. And uh, let's, you know, let's go take a look from the outside. All right, this is what it looks like from the outside now. I happen to pop that out. That's pretty cool, right? I don't know if I ever told you this, but when I did the bedroom, because I wanted to have the double bed like that, I actually moved this all out one as a way of adjusting of what I had already built. And yeah, part of the video is a demonstration of that you, just because you built something doesn't mean it needs to stay like that. You can make additions on to, you know, people buy homes in real life and put additions on to those homes. And uh, yeah, you can do that in Minecraft too. And lastly, something we need to talk about yet again, tragedy has struck. Yep, my light bulbs are out again. Time to go replace them again. Let's figure out what happened and check the security cam footage. All right, there they are going crazy, and there we have it. With the fence there, he still seems to get a little too close to that zombie and gets zombified himself. And of course, he zombifies the other two. So we're going to need to change out those two fences, the top and the bottom one. And uh, yeah, and then they despawn because I haven't traded with them. So they've got no reason to be here other than just being zombies. So I've gathered some materials already. Let's go ahead and dive into this and uh, show you what I did. So like I said, I've replaced the top and the bottom one. Uh, the top one because I don't want them jumping up onto the bottom block. Because as we saw, they can still get close enough. And that would still leave them that two block gap that they could probably hop up onto. So I'm just making this as a safety precaution so they can't jump. And uh, to make things easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and just pull these out. All right, I've saved you guys the trouble of watching me run a rail and bring villagers up here. And I'm making sure they've claimed a bed for themselves before the night is here. Pretty important. Yeah, look at those little light bulbs just sleeping away. All right, let's get some rest ourselves so we can replace this sensor. All right, let's go ahead and replace this torch with a sensor and reset that. And let's head inside for our last project of the episode. Okay, uh, hi. Okay, I've talked about turning this into a wine style stor storage style style wine. Wine, wine cellar storage, wine cellar style, wine cellar style storage room. Yeah, and that's what I came up with. Let's go into a quick time lapse and I will meet you back here.
fairly simple put together with some dark oak fences and fence gates along with some barrels and we have ourselves a wine cellar storage system and some minor decorations in the back uh, I've used some of the packed mud bricks here at the floor and in the ceiling here I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the walkways I don't know if I like the sound of them when you walk on them so yeah some minor decorations uh, so we're finished ish I'm sure you guys are getting used to my ish and we're gonna wrap it up here thank you guys for your patience and me getting this episode out I know it's been a quite a while I just been pretty busy in my real life at the moment and it's still not slowing down so i'd also like to do a live stream and take you guys on another adventure with me because that's pretty much the next thing we have to do we really have to go to the nether at this point to get some blaze rods some nether work because we need to fix these guys and i want an ender chest as well as making myself some ender pearls so we can go to the end and get our dragon and get our wings and all that fun stuff so hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and that will alert you when i go live for another adventure and follow me on twitter because i'll probably announce on twitter when i go live as well so follow me there and if you made it this far you might as well hit that like button because that would be very helpful to me as well thank you all for joining me again and i will see you soon either live or in the next episode all right, so take care until then. Be safe. Cheers. Wine cellar style storage. 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 Wine cellar storage. Style storage. Wine cellar style storage. Wine cellar style storage. I think I got it.